Welcome to Shani's World. These are just my thoughts with a comedic side of humor. But if you're cool with your girl, go fool with your girl. Appreciate you for dropping by. Disclaimer. Now, y'all know I already tell y'all I have a fear of water that I can't see the bottom of. Do you understand? Yes, because I just told you. However, there's a job for everybody. Now, I always like to tip my head off to a lifeguard because a lifeguard has to have endurance. A lifeguard has to have upper body strength. And of course, they have to be able to be swimmers that can swim fast and be able to keep you calm in the water as you are trying to stay above water fighting a drowning scenario. Now, I always wondered, what are y'all gonna do for those life-saving instances where the currents are too strong, or of course, there's any type of sharks or, you know, piranhas or whatever may have you in the body of water that that lifeguard cannot risk their life to come save you. There is this invention and I thought it was kinda cool. Now, there's still some questions I have about it, but overall, the idea of it, the concept of it is like, Okay, we can use this sometimes, majority of the times at the minimum. Now, it's called the remote control lifeguard. Now, this particular device is like a motor uh, water boat that is controlled by remote control that can go so far out, but it only has a lifespan of power for 20 minutes. So if you don't come back by 20, you, you still going to be stuck out there. You shouldn't be swimming that far any damn way. Let's start there. But what it does is it acts like a <clears throat> like a flotation device. And if you are conscious and able-bodied, this thing will be steered by somebody that's on land. And it will go through treacherous conditions to get to you 10 times faster than a human that's spent, you know, swimming to you against all types of currents and underwater animals. Now, once this device come gets you, it allows you to balance yourself up to two people, balance themselves on either side of the leg, but it allows um, this device to move through the treacherous water conditions and keep you above water and return you to land safely. Now, my question, although this device has been noted to possibly, allegedly, move 10 times faster than a human, what if the person... it like that's out shore like that or offshore like that it's unconscious like what do y'all do then and do y'all then tell the human lifeguard you gotta go save the person or do you just say mm -mm, we ain't got the manpower because sometimes that's what happens <clears throat> but the cool thing is that it has um unique features that it is very sleek the design is so sleek that it will weed through like seaweeds and, and things that's in the ocean that again, would be a hindrance to this thing getting to you. Um, I really saw a few videos, and you know I'm not going to show you the video, you know I'm not going to show you the video due to copyright, but just showing you these pictures, I, you know, they did some examples of how it would be if this was a real scenario, but for play. And it looks like it's cool for places like Florida or if you go to an island or whatever. I think it's cool there. But more importantly, like I said, if we can keep more lifeguards alive and put this device in the water and send it out and then it takes a lot of hits but it's still able to come back and be charged and do it again without having to put wear and tear on it as like you would with a human because humans, baby, we gotta. it takes us a while to power up. And especially when you're in that water and it has salt in it, you know, all of those factors could cause the best swimmer to still go down with the person they're trying to save. But... I think that anything to assist as an aid is always a benefit. You don't always have to rely on it. You can still bounce between the two, or you could just send out a lifeboat as option number three. But I still think that they're trying to find ways to keep everybody safe at the same time. So keep that in mind as you guys get in water and, you know, unfortunately something happens out of your control. Like this isn't a thing that could come save your life if it's too dangerous for a human to do so. But you can't hate when again is an aid that can you know step in and, and help um add to the team that's saving your life now I, as a kid i watched bay watching baby bay watch ain't bay watching no more so <laughs> you gotta be careful what you got going on because of course with all of these hurricanes and storms is brewing up the water conditions shift every single second and of course 
the animals are relocated, so that could be a factor to saving your life as well. Just keep it in mind. Just be just be mindful when you get ready to go out in the water that, baby, if you can't swim or come back to shore, you need to ask before you get in the water what life-saving techniques or devices do they have if a human can't do it. That's all I can give you. That's all that you can take, okay? But I am just the messenger. If you're cool with your girl, go on for with your girl. Baby, y'all know I got a website, so I love for you to check it out. You will definitely go to www. Yes dot shinybeentertainment.com so you can check out my fan gear it's so many things on there you guys can check out you can also donate donations but there's no pressure to do that either because y'all know that i appreciate the time you guys spend with me the likes the shares the way you brag about me to other people and that's what makes my heart warm um so those other stuff are just options but no obligations all right um, so I always want to tell you thank you for my lips to your ears so y'all know it's real and I don't take it for granted. But let's hop in the comments as we move forward in technology advances. You know, do you think that this will be a good tool for the water? Uh, whether you plan on getting the water, water or not, do you think that this will be a benefit to help keep people um, from drowning and to keep people alive and to keep people from having a lot of wear and tear trying to save somebody? Because that's still... Uh, an option that you can go down to. I think, again, it's a great help aid. I, I just have questions about a person that you're trying to save that's unconscious. That's my only question. What happens then? Um, and what, is there a weight capacity for this? Um, no shade, because again, not everybody getting the water is a buck 80. You know, what if this person's like 275 or 450? Like, what is the weight uh, capacity of this and do you guys have a extended battery pack because if it only does a 20 minute you know power up baby sometimes um the swimmers get pushed out ashore further than 20 minutes you know it looked like they right up on the shoreline but as you get in that water you're like oh my god they're like 700 feet away so what does it do once it hit 20 minutes does it give you like a sensor beep alert does it automatically have a generator built in and it'll back up that if it feels the weight that somebody's on it that's that's those are my only additional concerns but whoever created it you, you, you slick smart baby you slick smart <clears throat> but y'all know i was gonna i'm always gonna tell you i'm just the messenger and until next time y'all be safe because it's definitely crazy out here but next story and i'm out this piece